Okay, so this is the the fourth of the um, of the tutorials. We have registration, hello world, camera, media manager. We've gone through registration, camera, and now we're doing media manager. Um, I've just created the project, so it's called Kotlin Media Manager Demo. It's minimum SDK is twenty one. Um, and the first thing we want to do is we want to go into our top level build doc gradle replace it i always go to the project so i can see what's going on even then i still make mistakes okay don't do a gradle sync until we're done um, this is the other build up gradle. Things to note are target SDK 30 again, uh, debug for ProGuard, do not strip, and we're using 4.16. Not brave enough to go to 5 yet. Okay, uh, what else do I need to do? Android enable Jetifier. No, Gradle properties. Settings.gradle. So basically, just keep the last two lines. Okay, now we can do Gradle sync. So while that's going, let's look at what we have to do next. So we have to create a M application at KT, so that's our global application. We'll then go on and create the connection activity class. So this is checking to make sure it's got all the right permissions. Initializing the user interface for the connection. That's the first page. Um, and this observers to make sure that everything is still connected. Okay, so that worked. Um, oops. Go new Kotlin class, um, capital A. Right, so then we need our connection activity class. So now we need the layout, so we need activity connection.xml. Pretty obvious what we're doing now if we have a look at this when we just install it. Okay, layout. That's uh, something weird going on here. Hold on. No, I guess it's not. Okay. Go to code. All right, we can, if you look at the design, you can see pretty quickly that this is the connection screen. So this is the portrait one instead of the landscape one. We also need a connection view model class, which is the responsible for registering the SDKs, making sure that the API is okay, making sure that it's connected. Activity is a lot going on in the main activity. So, um, so this is the landscape page, back buttons, 
We have our onCreate. We're checking what the photo storage is. We're checking what the video storage is. Um, for the lifecycle management here, initialization, setting everything up with all the different buttons and the uh, image. Um, we need a media manager to get the camera so we can see what's going on with the camera. We want to get the file list from the SD card. If you don't have an SD card, it's not going to work. Okay. Get the thumbnails because the we have a recycler view with thumbnails. We don't want to show um, all the media file. It's going to crash if we do that. Uh, unbind view holder, so that's the other part of the recycler view. Uh, and lots of listeners for the buttons. Um, okay, update status text view. What does that do? Function used to update the status text view, so M push TV. So it's going to tell you what button you've just pressed. Um, download file by index, downloading the file, delete file by index, if you're deleting the file, play the video, move to position, on click. So this is the, uh, the wonderful way that um, Kotlin allows you to organize buttons, which I really like. So yeah, a lot going on. Uh -huh. Okay, I think I did that wrong. Let's try that again. There we go. Okay. Next, we have our default layout. So this is the default layout activity. Got to create new file again. Um, we need a couple of layout files as well. So activity main, could change this. Lots of errors here. Don't think it's going to even show us what it looks like. No, nope, too many errors. Um, now we have to create an activity default layout at XML. everything for the the camera to show the camera see that we need to update the colors is that what's coming next um, no we need a media info item so this is the, for the recycler view this is our item for this recycler view that was the black screen that came out um, showed you the extra information about the video or image. Okay. Uh, we have a prompt input position. So this is the the file for the prompt. When you want to change, move the um, the video on. Did I? Prompt input position. Yes, 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 yes. Code. Hoping my paste is still here. Yes, it is. Yay. Okay, so now we need some to change our colors. Values, colors. OK. 
Okay, uh, same with the strings. We've got to add a whole bunch of strings. Make some of that red go away. Um, we need a styles. We don't have a styles yet. Okay, um, so these are the drawable resources. We have a round button, round button disable, round button normal, round button pressed, round button select. So basically it's just we're setting up each of these different buttons. I am going to cheat here now and copy them from the GitHub repo because I don't think we need to, it's all the same. Registering the application, so this is the Android manifest. This is pretty similar to what you saw before. Just get the API key, please go get your own, developer.dgi.com. I'm going to go back to the Android view. Okay. And then we have our USB. So we have to create accessory filter.xml because it's in here, it's looking for. Okay. So main activity is still complaining. You will get some warnings, don't be surprised. Uh, anything I forgot, I wonder. I have noticed though that a couple of times I've done this that when I um, they build the error goes away. There's no reason why I shouldn't be able to find the buttons. I may have spelt something wrong or done something. My layouts. Yeah, I did. I spelt that wrong. Shun. Sorry. Okay. All right. Let's try build again. Typos you can see. Okay, so next thing you need to do is um, connect your phone to your phone and then um, run it on your drone and then you should get the same thing as what I got. <laughs> 